Barack Obama's election victory was barely 24 hours old when Russia's president threw down the first gauntlet. The Kremlin is angry with Bush administration plans to put a missile shield in Eastern Europe. In retaliation, Dmitry Medvedev warned Russia could put its own missiles a few miles from the Polish border. Barack Obama's victory has thrilled people the world over. But as soon as he takes office, he's going to have to make some foreign policy decisions that are sure to sour some of the vast international goodwill. In spite of Russia's recent belligerence, diplomatic channels with the U.S. remain wide open. And this weekend, Obama spoke by phone to President Medvedev, committing to what the Kremlin called constructive interaction. So the acid test for Obama will be Afghanistan. And it's really his first one. It's, it's the most live of the two live wars at the moment, and it's the one that's deteriorating. U.S. forces pursuing Taliban fighters have mistakenly killed dozens of civilians this fall, and President Hamid Karzai is furious. We cannot win the fight against terrorism with airstrikes in Afghanistan's villages, he said. Stop civilian casualties. But Obama can't stop them. And he'll have to face more friction from America's NATO allies when he asks Germany and France to send more soldiers to this unpopular and many think unwinnable war. Finally, there's Iran. Obama has said he would consider something new, direct negotiations. But if he can't talk the Iranians into stopping their nuclear program, pressure would surely build for a military strike. And that's the last thing a newly optimistic world wants to see from President Barack Obama. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.